Hey, welcome back everyone. So in this tutorial, it's going to be really, really quick. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, delete your saved games. Um, certainly when uh, it comes really useful after you get caught or die from falling or something. So just, uh, just to prove it and show it, uh, say I put these two uh, amazing sofas here. And okay, I have them there. I start testing stuff out and say I get caught by the neighbor or even uh, I, I fall and oh, now I'm dead. All right, I'm dead, right? Well, at this point, anything I do, say I want to add a couple of these balls, and I want to add uh, this stuff here and whatnot. Well, as many of you know, uh, once you press play, those new blueprints are not there. So, this is the way, quickest way I found and the safest way to delete your save games. So basically, all you gotta do is pick something inside of your content browser, anything. It doesn't have to be a blueprint, it could be anything really. I can, I can come into here and I can take one of the widgets, okay? So all you gotta do is right click on any object inside of your content browser. And then right here it says show in Explorer. It'll bring you to, uh, it'll open a Windows Explorer. And then all you gotta do is see where whatever it is, then you have content, just select the folder right before content. Okay, so technically the folder that holds your content. All you gotta do is go all the way down here where it says save, double click, and then double click on save games and remove everything that's in here. Delete it. And then once you press play, and there you go. That's all you need to do. I'm really sorry it took me so long to post this. I completely forgot about it. And uh, I should have updated the neighbor, but the neighbor videos, but whatever. Uh, so I hope this helps. And uh, I hope you guys will have a, a lot easier time now without having to save over your levels. You'll be able to just quickly and easily delete your save games and just go on testing without causing more memory or whatnot. So I'm going to leave you guys at that, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.